Also, the auto auction announced today that it's going to make a major safety change. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Billerica tonight with more on that. Christina? Well, David, the plan here is to have the auction open and running next Wednesday, but with some significant changes. The Linway Auto Auction plans to add barriers or bollards to make sure vehicles don't veer. They also plan to add police and fire details and go over safety procedures with all of the drivers here. A vehicle accident, car gets the building. It was chaotic. People were yelling and screaming. Um, it was hard to determine how many were injured, who was injured. Now questions about what could have possibly saved the three who were killed and nine injured in the Linway auto crash. Lisandra Aponte, who was here for her first day on the job, now leaves behind three kids. Ruben Espayet is in a coma. Looking down this cell. I mean, this is this is why you got to train your drivers. Attorney Stephen D'Angelo took this video when his client was hit by a car six years ago at the same auction. Inside look at normal operations. He says cars are neither inspected nor road safe, in some cases pushed through. He says drivers are not sufficiently trained. And it should be in the, on the mind of the people who own the business to make sure that the customer is there in a safe way and, and not in danger of being hit by some vehicle that goes out of control. We spoke with one witness who's seen this kind of crash twice yesterday and before that he was at a similar crash at an auction in Framingham. I have never lived a life in fear but this certainly was an eye-opener because I was within 15 feet of the vehicle when it began its path and simply was safe because I was standing in the right place at the right time. At this point, state police say they are taking a close look at the Jeep that was involved to determine things like speed, what direction it was being steered in, and whether the brakes were engaged. And also, as a matter of routine, they'll be looking at any past recalls. In Bill Ricca, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina, thank you. Stay with WBZ both on the air and online as we continue to follow the newest developments in this investigation.